I'm going to start with a story because why not, huh? This is a song called Frankie and Albert, which was recorded a lot in the 20s and 30s and made its way into uh, the rock and roll world in the 50s. And it's a murder ballad, and I think what folks don't often realize with these murder ballads is that somebody actually died. And in this case, it was a woman by the name of Frankie Baker who was a prostitute in St. Louis, Missouri. And this was around 1900, and uh, she got into a business dispute with her pimp, a guy named Al Brecht, because he was spending a little bit too much time with this gal named Alice Pryor. One thing led to another, and uh, Al pulled a knife on Frankie, and Frankie had a gun and shot him. So she was uh, exonerated, it was self-defense, right? And uh, that's kind of where her troubles began. Uh, Frankie, uh, there was the, the Tin Pan Alley songwriters that uh, were combing the newspapers for salacious stories, and this really fit the bill. And you gotta remember, this is 1900, so it was before recorded music, and I mean, I guess that, Thomas Edison was making records, but wasn't nobody listening to him. And uh, they started pumping out sheet music and songs, because that's how music was distributed back then. You had to know how to play something, you know. And uh, so they were pumping out these Frankie and Albert songs. And then sometime in the, uh, it must have been the 20s or so, recorded music started happening and the songs started showing up on records. And then there was a gal you might remember named Mae West, the actress. Yeah, Mae. She was in a film called He Done Her Wrong, which was about the Frankie and Albert story. And this drove poor Frankie absolutely nuts, and she started suing everybody. She sued the sheet music publishers, the Tin Pan Alley songwriters. She sued uh, the film studio that made the movie, and she sued Mae West. Now, she lost every single one of these cases. <laughs> on account of she was black, and the rest of them weren't. And uh, it got to the point where her house in St. Louis became the place, the, you know, the creepy house on the corner that the kids peeked through the window at the crazy lady. That was Frankie Baker's house. And uh, it got to the point where she had to move. And this story doesn't have a happy ending, just letting you know. And uh, Frankie ended up moving to Portland, Oregon where she died in a mental institution in the mid-50s. But for her uh, sacrifice, we do have this lovely song. I learned this off of a Mississippi John Hurt recording. He did, he, ta he called it Frankie. Anyway. Frankie was a good girl, everybody knows. She paid one hundred and dollars a bought Alice's new suit of clothes. He was her man, but he doing her wrong. Frankie went down to the corner saloon, didn't go to big all long. She peeked through the keyhole in the door and spied Alvin in Alice's arm. Now he was her man. Doing her wrong. Frankie called the Albert. Elba says, I don't care. Come on out to the woman you love, I'm gonna haul your ass out of there. Woo, you with my man. You do me wrong. Frankie shot Elbert, shot him three, four times. 
said, stroll back out of the smoke of my gun. Let me see it forever dying. Now, nah, he was my man. He do me wrong. Frankie and the judge walked down the stand, walked out side by side. Judge said to Frankie, you gonna be justified for killing your man. He do me wrong. Dark was the night time, gold was on the ground. Last words I heard Frankie say, I don't lay bow ever down. Now nah, he was my man. He do me wrong. Walk to the scaffold, calm as a girl could be. Lift her eyes up towards the head and said, Near my got to be. Oh, you is my man. But you do me wrong. He ain't gonna tell you no story, he ain't gonna tell you no lie. Yeah, we passed about an hour ago, word together called Ellis Pride. Now he was my man. Woo, doing it wrong. Well, thank you. song by a guy named Skip James who uh, played in a very peculiar guitar tuning of open D minor for a lot of the things he did and then he recorded just one song in this tuning I'm in here which is called Spanish Tuning and uh, it's called the Special Rider Blues and it was a very popular song in the 20s maybe a little before then in and around the uh, Jackson Mississippi area it seemed like everybody had a, a special rider blues, uh, most notably a, a piano player by the name of Little Brother Montgomery. And these guys both worked the same joints in Jackson, and they both worked in uh, turpentine camps and other real classy joints. And I've compared the two songs, and they're nothing alike. So I don't know who got what from who. But this is a special rider blues. Thank you. 
Yeah, like singing this song, baby, to ease your troubled mind. Yeah, like singing to you. Some fans out there. Ooh. We got okay. Well, I keep a log in the back. I write down how many for who. And <laughs> so we got three for Lemon. That's pretty good because the other night he only had one. So this is a song called uh, "The Hell's This Called?" Stocking Feet Blues. And as far as I can tell, it's about a woman who leaves abruptly. And uh, do you guys remember the the, uh, the jump rope game Double Dutch, where you had the two ropes and you had to time it just right to jump in, or else you got whacked in the ankles? Yes. yes, yes. That's this song for me. Is this song? So if I don't jump in with the lyrics at just the right time, the whole thing goes right in the toilet. And <laughs> but we're family, so I don't care. <laughs> you know. Welcome, no matter where I go. Say, 
said I can't feel welcome no matter where I go. Says the girl that I love drew me from her door. She got me up this morning, tip across the floor with loving mama in a stocking feet, crying fairly well. Sweet papa fairly well. Get along with you. I can't stay awake. I cry the whole night long. Can't stay away, I cry the whole night long. Since the girl that I love, packed her truck and gone. She got her up this morning, tipping across the floor with love and mama in a stocking feet, crying fairly well. She bought my fairly well. I done all this world that I could, and I can't get along with you. Don't mistreat me because I'm young and wild I said don't mistreat me baby because I'm young and wild You ought to remember you was once a child She got her up this morning Tip across the floor with love and mama in the stocking feet Crying fairly well, she pop up fairly well world that I could, and I can't get along with you. Well, I thank you. So one of the guys that uh, influenced my playing probably the most is a character by the name of Blind Willie McTell. wrote a song called Statesboro Blues that was uh, recorded most famously by a little band called the Almond Brothers and uh, somehow their version doesn't sound anything like Willie McTell's version it sounds like uh, Willie's lyrics on top of some sort of generic blues and I'm not a, a, a purist in any sense of the way but there's just a couple of songs in the in the country blues or traditional blues or down home blues canon, whatever you want to call it, that uh, I feel are like American classical music. And I wouldn't change a note of it. And I try to do it as closely as I can to the way that it was originally recorded. You know, there's only a couple of things I f feel that strongly about, and this would be one of them. And you always hear, fo especially with this particular song, and I completely blame the Allman Brothers for this. You always hear, oh, well, I play the States Pro Blues, but. I play it my way. And I always think to myself, well, thank God we're not talking about Brahms or Beethoven, right? Because I don't want to hear your version of that. Not ever. And uh, so this is, uh, I, I've been playing this song for ever, you know, 25 years at least. And, and just when I think I've got it, pretty well figured out I go back and I'll listen to Willie McTell's version of it and I realize that ah, not quite a little a little more to go on that one so this is as close as I can do today to what Willie did in 1920 I think it was 
up mama Until you lay down low Wake up mama Until you lay down low Got the nerve to drop this poor boy from your door Mama died and let me reckless mind Daddy died and let me wild, wild, wild Mama let me reckless, my daddy died and let me wild No, I'm not good looking, but I'm some sweet woman's angel child You might a mean woman me this way Find a mean woman you treat me this way When I leave this town pretty mama I'm gonna wear to stay I once loved a woman better than any I'd ever seen Once loved a woman better than any I'd ever seen Treat me like a king lord that can't the doggone queen Sister, tell your brother Brother, tell my auntie, auntie Tell my uncle, uncle Tell my cousin, cousin Tell my friends I'm going up the country Mama, don't you want to go? They take me a fat brown I might take one or two He left Savannah, Lord, it didn't stop y'all to see the colored fire when he got the boiler high. He's showing the corner, you had me my trampling shoe. You know about that, baby, got them sticks for blues. Mama, sister got him, and he got him, brother got him, long friend got him. I got him, we woke up this morning and we had them sticks for blues. I looked over in the corner, Grandma and Grandpa had them too. Well, thank you. Blind Willie McTelethon. It's a song called uh, The Kill It Kid Rag, which uh, I got it from the, uh, the guy that taught me everything about the 12 string guitars, a fellow by the name of Paul Jeremiah. And uh, he did a version of The Kill It Kid Rag that he didn't do it exactly like Willie McTell did it. He stole some pieces from uh, Blind Boy Fuller's uh, uh, Jitterbug Rag. And then I got a hold of it and added some other stuff to it. And that's folk music for you. That's how it works, you know. Anyways, the Kill It Kid rag with the, some other things thrown in. Mama don't allow, sister don't care. Papa don't allow, won't have it here. No, mama don't allow, no load I hangin' around. Yeah, mama don't allow, sister don't care. Papa don't allow, won't have it here. No, mama don't allow, no load I hangin' around. Tell me, pretty baby, that you wanna be true. Where you quit wearing clothes, let the sun shine through. Mama don't allow, no load I hangin' around. Yeah, mama don't allow, and sister don't care. Papa don't allow, won't have it here. No, mama don't allow, no load I hanging around. Tell me, pretty baby, won't change your name. Well, you gotta quit wearing them sweet Mary Jane. Mama don't allow, no load I hanging around. Yeah, mama don't allow, and sister don't care. Papa don't allow, won't have it here. No, mama don't allow, no load I hanging around. Where's little fish, big fish, swimming a quarter? Come back, man, not give me my quarter. Baby, let me be your salty dog. Oh, baby, let me be your salty dog. Now I don't want to be your man at all. Baby, let me be your salty dog. I 
down to Miami on Second Avenue. Man, the boys will show what they can do with that kitty kid. Brag, baby. Oh, sister Kate's a brother more bounce that mother across that floor trying to learn them how to do that. Do that, don't, don't kitty kid. Ooh, like your mama did. Dodge him all, you better dodge your paw, honey. Get out of town, dodge that Georgia law. Won't do that, kitty kid. Say, I got a gal up on Dago Hill. Little mama got a whiskey still. she sell me all kinds of stuff. Come over here, baby, mix up that tardy. We gonna get high, drunk, everybody gonna do that. Do that, don't, don't, kill it, kid. Ooh, baby, please. Dodge him all, you better dodge your paw. Get out of town, dodge that Georgia law. Rock it on the Cadillac as well as a Ford, baby. You can drive it on the running board, but don't jump. Look out. You can rock it on the Cadillac as well as a Buick. Nah, Grandma says that she want to do it. Take your time. Learn to fly to that kitty kid. Ooh, baby, please. Dodge your more, you better dodge your paw. Get out of town. Dodge that Georgia law. I right, thank you. Ooh. I want to do a song by a guy named uh, George Carter. He recorded uh, <coughs> just four songs back in uh, 1930 for Paramount Records. And uh, three of the four pretty much sound the same. And this one's the best of the four, so there you go. Uh, oh. <coughs> in nineteen twenty seven there's a big flood in Mississippi. And uh the river flooded all the way. I mean it's, I was alerted to the fact at a show the other day in Dubuque, Iowa, that uh the flood happened there as well, so there's I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of people displaced by this flood. But it made good fodder for blues singers. And you weren't nobody unless you had a good flood song. And uh, George Carter, who was safe and dry in Atlanta, Georgia, had himself a flood song, and this is it here. It's called the Rising River Blues. Running sweet 
mama like they haven't grown before. Come make your sweet mama sit down on my knee. Yeah, sweet mama, sit down on my knee. Rise and live up, please don't worry me. Got to move in the LA. I ain't allowed on the street. Got to move in the LA. I ain't allowed on the Rise River, blue show got me be. Let me speak my mind Hey, sweet mama Let me speak my mind To cure these blues on her Take a long, long time Right, say river blue Running by my door Rising river blue Running by my door yeah, Running sweet mama like they haven't run before song is very old, uh, late 1800s. It's called uh, My Money Never Runs Out. And it's kind of a, I found out just recently that it's a, uh, uh, an amalgamation of two different songs that were written by uh, these guys that traveled in, there was a, a brief period of time in the 1880s, 1890s, right up until vaudeville happened of black traveling ragtime shows. They, uh, it was a lot like uh, vaudeville, except you know, it, was, it was black folks actually getting paid to do this. Whereas in vaudeville, they weren't necessarily even allowed down the stage or in the same auditorium as, not until much later on, but they, uh, a lot of the songs that we call blues now actually came out of that tradition and a lot of them are uh, ragtime in nature, and this is this is definitely one of them. It's kind of the uh, oh, it's the delusion of an opium smoker. Obviously, with the title, my money never runs out. Little smoker lives around this town. He is lazy, lazy can be. 
long as they shake it for he hangs around. I love my hop, says he. Early one morning, this smoker went away from the world it was said. And I go back to bed and I keep up my head. Don't care if I never wake up. Oh, I don't care if I never wake up until the birds get through with me. Coming back here with my big Ford, I'm gonna make them all climb a tree. Nothing like living like a money king, drinking from a silver cup. You pour my glass, you're out of my class, don't care if I never wake up. Oh, if my money boy was stacked high, I'd leave it to my soul, it would touch the sky. Polish my teeth with the diamond dust, and I don't care if the bank's bust, cause my money don't never run out. Styled. Every good evening, well on toast, I shout Said I'm living good all of the time No drinks or no cheap wine And I always flirt and my money never runs out Soul, it would touch the sky. Polish my teeth with the diamond dust, and I don't care if the bank's buzz cut. My money don't never run out. Rich food, you making me style. Every good evening, well on toast, I shout. Said I'm living good all the time. Don't drink, sir, no cheap wine, and I always flirt, and my money never runs out. All right. Pressing my luck here in Kingston, New York, if I did a, a second murder ballad. <laughs> Comes with a story if you want it. You want a story? Okay. Well, once again, concerns itself with somebody who has passed on. And in this situation, it was a 14-year-old girl by the name of Delia Green. She was living in Savannah, Georgia, up until 1900, Christmas night. And uh, then things went terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, she was at a Christmas party at this big house there in Savannah. And she had this lousy boyfriend, a kid named Moses Cooney Houston. And he worked for the people who owned the house. And it was uh, his job that day to go down to the, the gunsmith and pick up this 44 revolver that was being repaired. And he did his job. He went down to the blacksmith and he picked up this gun and brought it back to the house. And because Moses was no piker when it comes to gun safety, he put that gun on the dining room table and covered it with a napkin. That was gun safety in 1900. And anything, you know, they're having a party, everything's going along splendidly, but then uh, as young couples do, they argued and Delia called Moses a son of a bitch. And that didn't fly with Moses. He was very unhappy. And he knew the combination to that napkin I'll wait for that to sink in. <laughs> and he got that gun, and he shot her. And he took off running, and because he was 14 years old, he made it about three blocks before he was arrested. Delia lingered on for another three days before she died, and uh, they carted Moses off to jail. And this is, uh, you know, the end of the Victorian era, and back then young boys didn't get to wear full-length trousers. They had to wear short pants. 
so you can imagine his embarrassment sitting in the tank wearing these ridiculous short pants. To compound his problems, there was a lag in his trial of about six months, and during this time, the poor boy had a growth spurt. So now Moses Cooney's 15 years old, and over six foot tall, and he's, them short pants got real short. But he had this great defense attorney who uh, insisted that he stay in these short pants to help illustrate the idea that he was just a boy and he didn't know what he was doing. And it worked because the state of Georgia, they were hot to hang that kid, and uh, instead they gave him 10 years in prison. And he did his 10 years, and he got out, and he ended up uh, in New York City for a little while, had a couple more little incidents with the law. And then he kind of disappeared, and that's all we know about Moses Cooney, and uh, Delia kind of disappeared as well. We don't know what we don't know what happened to her until just recently, a couple years ago. Uh, some folks discovered where she was buried and bought her a headstone, which is pretty nice. And uh, one time I was in the area, and uh, I'm one of those that if I'm within 50 miles of a dead blues singer, I stop, you know. And uh, she was. Uh, she was there and it was nice. And for her sacrifice, we have this lovely song that I filched from Blind Willie McTell. He recorded it uh, the first time for the Library of Congress in 1940. You'll notice that the song I'm about to sing and the story I just told don't have much to do with one another at all. Outside of the names, and somebody died and somebody went to jail. Took a trip out west When she returned In a few lining rays She's on life Out and gone Did his mother weep Did his father moan Wouldn't have hated it so bad If that child had died at home She's on life Out and gone Looking high, Cooney looking low. Shot poor D down with that old April 44. She's on life, got and gone. High up on the house top, high as I can see. Looking for them rounders, looking after me. She's on life, got and gone. What's advice? Last words they heard her say were Jesus Christ. She's all lie, God and gone. Cooney, he's in the bar room, drinking from a silver cup. She's in the graveyard, they never wake up. She's on life, out and gone. Rubber tire buggy, double seated hat. Taking Dee to the cemetery, but failed to bring her back. She's on life, out and gone. Judge said to Cooney, what was that fuss about? All the kind of them gamblers, they're trying to drive me out. She's on life, got and gone. Cooney said to the judge, 
what might be my fine I done told you, poor boy, you got 99 She's all alive, God ain't gone 99 years in the jailhouse, church that ain't no time Got a brother down in New Orleans doing 999 She's all alive, God ain't gone Jailer, oh, jailer, how can I sleep? All around my bed at night, I hear the deer's feet. She's all lie, God ain't gone. Thank you very much. So I do this thing where I play a song or two, and then I do a pile of Blind Willie McTell songs, and then I'll do a different song, and then I'll do some bl more Blind Willie McTell songs. So that's what's happening. We're gonna do a couple more Blind Willie McTell songs. What are we gonna do? This is a song called The Stomp Down Rider. And as far as I could tell, it's about a woman who drinks more than she probably ought to. Mama, you so nice and kind Young guy, reckless, changed your mind You can stomp down, right up You can stomp down, right up You can stomp down, right up But you moves too drunk for me Out down south, baby I was with my broad I'm up north, treat like a dog You can stomp down, right up You can stomp down, right up You can stomp down, right up But you moves too drunk for me Now if you don't want me, baby Give me your right hand, go back to my woman, we're going back to your man. You stomp down, rider. You stomp down, rider. You stomp down, rider. But you was too drunk for me. Now, if you don't want me, baby, don't you dog me around my home. Ain't here and I can leave your town. Stomp down, rider. You stomp down, rider. You stomp down, rider. But you was too drunk for me. Walking around, baby, with my head hung low. Sweet mama ain't gonna do right no more. You can stomp down, rider. You can stomp down, rider. You can stomp down, rider, but you're most too drunk for me. If you give me my money, baby, I will allow. I don't know for you that you require. Stomp down, rider. You can stomp down, rider. You can stomp down, rider, but you're most too drunk for me. Coming this morning, won't tell me where you've been. Got a strange love coming back again. You can stomp down, rider. You can stomp down, rider. You can stomp down, rider, but you're supposed to come for me. You can hold your head when you're feeling bad. I sing and dance for you when you said, Stomp down, rider. You can stomp down, rider. You can stomp down, rider, but you're supposed to
Catch him up on the mountaintop Can make it show you southern women how to eagle rock You were stomp down rider right You were stomp down rider right You stomp down rider right But you was too good for me When I first met your mama You was a nice thing kind Don't got big this change your mind You were stomp down rider right You were stomp down rider right You were stomp down rider right But you was too good for me do just uh, two more here, I think. We'll call it a happy life. I'm going to continue with the, uh, the Blind Willie McTelethon. This is a uh, uh, song called The Drive Away Blues. Kingston, New York. 
I'm gonna do one more here, and we're gonna call it a happy life. This is a blind boy, bo blind boy Fuller song called "Step It Up and Go." Got a little gas, she living low. Used to love me, but she don't know more. Gotta step it up and go. Can't stay pat, and I swear, you gotta step it up and go. Got a little gas, she stays upstairs. Trying to make a living by putting on airs. Gotta step it up and go. Yeah, go. We can't stay pat, and I swear, you gotta step it up and go. Front door shut, back door too. Lines pulled down, what you gonna do? Gotta step it up and go. Yeah, go. Can't stay pat, and I swear, you gotta step it up and go. Baby walking down the street Telling everybody but the chief of police Gotta step it up and go Yeah, go You can't stay pat and I swear you Gotta step it up and go Got a little girl and name a ball Give a little bitch, she took it all Gotta step it up and go Yeah, go You can't stay pat and I swear you Gotta step it up and go Baby, tell her hurry home. Had no right love and said she been gone. Gotta step it up and go. Yeah, go. You can't stay pat, and I swear you gotta step it up and go. Gonna sing this prison, gonna sing no more. If the girl call me, then I got to go. Gotta step it up and go. Yeah, go. You can't stay pat, and I swear you gotta step it up and go. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.